I barely have health here. But am I okay? Can you like at least stop? Okay, they're not immediately mad, which is all I wanted. That guy's still sleeping there. So this stuff persists across maps. My health is coming back slowly, but I feel like not fast enough. Can I get some help here? Good, you've reached the relay station, but stay alert. That station is an enemy strong point. The security is bound to be tight. But there's no other way to get to the crevice if I don't make it through. Exactly. The crevice leading to the cave is in the north of that area. Find a way to slip past the enemy and head north. I see you have a calorie mate. Calorie mate? The thing you're holding now? Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? Try it, it's pretty good. Well, yeah, because okay. it's manufactured food. What is this thing? Never seen anything like it. Calorie Made is an energy supplement that contains all the proteins, lipids, vitamins, carbohydrates, and minerals needed for a balanced diet. It's a well-balanced food. Because of that, it's just perfect for giving your body the nutrition it needs in combat. It sounds like a space-age food. Real astronaut food is not very good, but that should taste fine. Yeah, and it'll help balance out all this jungle food I'm eating. It's easy and quick to eat, so it's perfect when you're running late for an important mission in the morning. I've never been late for a mission. Really? Aren't you always keeping people waiting? <laughs> uh, a little it's bit? It's easy to keep track of your calorie intake and receive the nutrition your body needs, so it's good for losing weight, too. All of the geisha girls in Japan use it for watching their calories. Is that what? why they're all so slim? Right. And any diet where you eat nothing at all is bad for the body. I see. You seem to know a lot about Japan, don't you? She's a weeb. Yes, I love Japan. <laughs> the Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo. That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah, I know. Well, she brought over two and they used one for the facility. So they have one more or do they have even more than that? The crevice leading to the cave is to the north of that base. Keep heading north. I think I might want to stand here just to recover some health for a little bit. Saving the game, Snake? Especially because they're on high alert right now. And I don't know how to... Is there no other way to recover health immediately? We have to just... Like, sit here. I guess so. Snake, have oh you my god. <laughs> No. These flying saucers from Mars arrive on Earth disguised as meteorites. The saucers use their heat rays to attack the nearby towns. And then... Um... Something wrong. Uh, the thing is, I was too scared to watch. I had my eyes shut almost the whole time. Then you haven't seen it. No, it's not that. It's based on a novel by H.G. Wells. You haven't seen it, have you? That does remind me, though. When I was two years old, my father listened to the radio drama version of the story. It was right after dinner on Sunday, and we were relaxing in the living room. They said monsters had come out of a meteorite that landed in New Jersey. It sounded just like a real live news broadcast. My father said he and my older brother actually believed it and started yelling and panicking. My mother supposedly grabbed me from my crib and took me out to the car, still wrapped up in blankets. But then, just as my dad was about to start the car, he realized that it was all just a radio drama. Because on the car's radio, they were playing Bing Crosby tunes. No matter what station he turned to, no one else seemed to be reporting on this big history-making news story. Sounds like something out of the big broadcast. Nobody said a word. We all went back to our rooms. My father and brother got off with a scolding from my mother, but I was the one who really suffered. After that incident, every time I acted up, my father and brother would scare me by saying, The Martians are coming! That's <laughs> terrible. Isn't it, though? So, 
You haven't seen the movie. <laughs> I. That's the point. I saw it. So, so even nuclear weapons wouldn't work against the Martian war machines. Uh huh. Anyway, Snake, if you conceal yourself like the Martians did, the enemy won't know what hit them. Conceal myself. Maybe not in a meteorite, but if you can hide yourself inside something a little more close at hand. Hmm. Close at hand. Something like a box. Ah, uh, oh. I get it. So, you never saw the movie. <laughs> I saw it, all right? That's right, we got the box earlier, too. Maybe we can use the box. I, well, if they're already on alert, I don't think it would work. Okay, so I have to wait 78 seconds. The thing is, I'm pretty sure if I waited that long, the guy would wake up. I'd still wait, though. Yeah, because now when we pick stuff up, it's in our backpack. I have to remember to add it to our more immediate inventory first. Thermal goggles! We should be using that. Oh, bug juice! Here we go! What is this for? I'll, I'll find out now. I think I'll just take away the cigar for now then, because we can get the cigar in the cure menu. Life medicine. Oh, maybe this is for healing HP. You need to show me the description in the in the backpack as well. So much stuff. I want to see what bug juice is. A bug repellent keeps away hornets and leeches while it lasts. Oh, okay. So before we walked into the water earlier, we should have done this. Life medicine developed by the USSR for soldiers restores life. It's very limited. We only have one of them. I see. But good for situations. We'll have a look around while we wait. I mean, everything is thermal though. Like, it's broad daylight and the, the electrified fields are making this kind of useless. They have turrets around. That's not a good sign. And a lot of people. A lot of people. Oh, he's gonna wake that guy up now. Our trank? It's not quite it. Oh, that's a lot of people. Jeez, man. You know my health bar? The stamina bar is so much longer than the health bar. It sort of implies that at full health. Like, we're nowhere near full health right now. We're kind of um, handicapped. How do we extend the health bar? I hope it's extendable. I don't know. I, I just assumed it was. Something to look into. That guy... That guy gonna see me right there? Wait, the caution is that... Did they wake up the sleeping guy? At some point, the caution number went back up again. Oh, jeez, man. I feel like going inside the facility is just a death sentence. They said, go around north, right? I don't need to go inside the facility. Move! <laughs> if you don't move, how do I roll over to the grass? And this is the gun with the suppressor. Oh god, why are you here? I could probably... stun that guy. Oh, he's gonna turn around. That's his patrol route, I think. It looks like there's a lot of interesting stuff inside. I just can't afford to go in right now because I'm so weak. Are you daydreaming? <laughs> what are you looking at? What's so... What's so captivating? When we down people, we can actually get new items pretty easily, just by shaking them out. Huh? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Radio! Where's our backup? Oh my god, please! Oh. 
I couldn't get up fast enough to respond to that. Wait, Cover. Oh dear God. Oh. Okay, we're done. We're done. I think there's gonna be claymores around the corner. Oh. Oh boy. Uh. Bye everyone. Are you serious? Oh my. I almost wish we didn't make it through because now, now I gotta keep... <laughs> the way the crouching and the standing up works, it makes it so difficult to... Oh. Ah, you're here at last. Oh no. Looks like the boss's info was right. It makes it hard to get up. Especially after some guys already found me. Twice now you've made me taste bitter defeat. Okay. I hate to disappoint the Cobras, but you're mine now. I have one health. All of you, leave us. It's just you and me. No one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. He keeps changing his guns every time I give him advice. It's kind of cute. <laughs> but he recognizes that I'm better than him. He's taking advice from me. Is such a show off. Twelve shots. Are you done showing off? <laughs> this time I've got twelve shots. I'll still try my best, but we have one health right now. <laughs> what do you- burns? Bandages? What's wrong with your crotch? Gunshot to the crotch, my god. Oh no. This isn't gonna help now. I just want to see how much we can learn before we die. How come the- I use a styptic, but the gunshot wound still doesn't... We gotta do more than that? Oh, because we gotta get out the bullet first, I guess. But look at how much health I have. I don't even want to try using my life- Actually, I will. I'll use my life medicine. Okay, what am I trying to do here? We're trying to do a gun battle? Why don't I just stun you? Where's my stun grenades? I don't need a suppressor. Dude, why are you messing me up with your cutscene? From that range, huh? Don't be a coward. I've never felt attention like this before. That's so different from simply changing a clip. I can tell you 100% I'm doing better with a mouse and keyboard for this part. This reload time is exhilarating. It's just different. Mouse on a keyboard. Look! Nice shot. I 
can't even see you. Touche. I can't do much besides stand still on this tree, though. Don't hit me, whoever is on the side. I... no! Is there someone here? Wait, it was way easier up here. Who the hell is shooting me from the back? Oh my god, it's that thing that he said in MGS1 before. He was all like, I love to reload during a battle. Oh no! Oh, if we had come in with more health, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. But you see though, like I think if I was playing on the controller, this would have taken me much longer. <laughs> He's juggling the guns in the back. So I'm just gonna um, make sure I'm at full health in the previous map and then come here. Hey, do you want to try calling people before we start? Don't we usually get some more from them like that? Snake, the only way to proceed is to fight. You have to defeat Ocelot. You can't jump over that crevice, and hand-to-hand -hand combat is out of the question. You'll have to shoot it out with him. Take cover behind something and wait for an opening. Then attack him in first-person view. I think the whole taking cover mechanic is honestly... I'd rather just stand a little bit further back, I don't know. It looks like there's a hornet's nest up there. If it falls down, you'll be attacked by the hornets inside. If you get attacked by hornets, swing your survival knife around or use a smoke grenade to drive them off. Wearing light-colored clothing can also be effective. Oh, why? Do they not care about white? That guy is using the single-action army. It's a six-shot, 45 caliber revolver. The only drawback is that because it's a revolver, it's a pain in the ass to reload. Ocelot will be open to attack while he's reloading. Use that window to unload on him. I also have a reload window, though, unfortunately. Ocelot is a force to be reckoned with. Don't even think about running away. The only way to proceed with the mission is to defeat him. They say that Ocelot can hit targets hiding behind obstacles by using ricochet shots. Rocks and trees won't protect you. If you stay too long in the same spot, you'll only be making yourself an easy target. Don't stand still. Keep moving. I wish I could, but I feel like with the, the controls they have, standing still is probably our best bet. I'm not sure why, but Ocelot seems to have a thing for his cap. He might be able to get him to let down his guard by shooting it off his head. Oh, trick shots, huh? Hey, we did have an assault rifle thing before, right? That I picked up earlier. Maybe I should be using it here, but um, nah, he's using a revolver against me. So I'll use a similarly sized weapon. Sure. All the exits are being blocked by members of the Ocelot unit. They're fiercely loyal to Ocelot. Even if Ocelot ordered them not to get involved, they might just step in to back him up if he gets in trouble. If you get attacked by one of the Ocelots, use a grenade or something to fight back. Easy for you to say. Any any other lore? All the exits are being blocked by... Okay. Ocelot is using a revolver. Revolvers take a long time to reload when they run out of bullets. When he stops to reload, that's your chance to attack. All right, I got you. Let's try this again. I know there is a, a hornet's nest there. You see it on the top right, above my my stamina bar. You can try to stun him, smoke him. Yes, how dare I, indeed. Cap. You won't get away. 
away from me! I think his team members are getting me from somewhere, too. Okay, are you- Oh my god, why do I have to watch this? Time is <laughs> you need to stop getting me from behind, people behind me. Thank you. Put back his hat on. Damn it. He found us. Aren't you on the same side? Oh god. How is he controlling the hornets like that? Some psychic power. They're already all covered up and they're still scared. What about me? Wait, aren't you on the same side? The hornet guy is with the boss, right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Not exactly the same side, I guess. The boss and the Russians, still a little bit of difference. Oh! Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, you know, on the walk back... That mill the facility area that we came from, I saw there were multiple exits there. I was hoping we could go check it out again after the battle, but maybe not this time. Maybe we'll go back there again, maybe we won't. Well, hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, might be a good idea to have the thermal goggles here, huh? Well, that went pretty easily. Thank you, mouse and keyboard. Thank you. Where am I? Oh, I have to put it from my backpack again, that's right. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. And I still got to keep the life medicine too, which I think might be a better thing to keep for within a battle. Yeah, don't do it outside of um, a boss battle, maybe. I don't know about binoculars. I'll just take that out for now. I do see there is a snake there. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have a bite right now, if you'll let me. I noticed my food. If you look at the icon next to the word, the name of the food, some of them have bugs on it. That's probably an indication that it's rotten, right? A lot of my stuff just straight up rotted. So sad. Except for the stuff that's been kept alive, I guess. But if we wanna... Um, well, let's have a reticulated python. We don't need to eat anything. I don't think it helps with health. Yeah, just a little bit of stamina, which really isn't what I'm looking for here. Anybody want to talk? Snake, are you okay? Snake! Major. Snake. Are you alright? You're not hurt? No. That was a hell of a drop, but I'm fine. Looks like there's no way back up, though. I see. Well, anyway, it's good to hear you're not injured. Slipping and falling may not have been part of the plan, but getting into that cave was. Proceed further into the cave. The cave seems to be structured like a maze, but there's an exit somewhere. Find a way out of the cave and head for the aqueduct. All right, but it might take me a while to get through this cave. Are you hurt? No, 
Is it the enemy? Did they set a trap for you? Not that either. It's dark. Then what is it? It's dark in here. Dark? Yeah, there's no light anywhere. I should have brought a flashlight with me. So what you're saying is that it's going to take you a while because you don't have a flashlight? Right. Snake, if you don't have a flashlight, you should be looking for a substitute. I tell you. American soldiers these days rely too much on ready-made equipment. Here we go again. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. American soldiers rely too much on ready-made equipment. Heard you the well, first time. That, they can't seem to grasp that one piece of equipment can have multiple functions. Back when I was in the SAS, we never had that problem. We were trained to use every piece of equipment in as many ways as possible. If you don't have a flashlight, look for something else. You need to develop flexible, innovative thinking if you want to... Hey, are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, of course I am. <laughs> First, take a look at what you're carrying with you now. Don't you have anything that can provide you with some light? You're not saying the cigar, right? Because the light from a cigar is so little. I feel like... Well, the thermal goggles... They'll let me know what's alive around me. Good for detecting danger, but not good for finding roots. I see you have a calorie mate. Calorie mate? The thing you're holding now? Oh, the little block. I think you told me like about this already, right? Try it, it's pretty good. Yeah. Wow, you caught a coral snake. The coral snake is a venomous snake that originally hails from the Americas. Its venom is a very potent neurotoxin, so don't let it bite you. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use cure to neutralize the poison with a serum injection. The colorful red and black patterns on the coral snake are a warning sign. Apparently, the bright oh. flashy colors and patterns hmm. let other animals know that it carries a deadly poison that keeps them from attacking. There are many animals that mimic the colors of known poisonous animals as a defense. See, by mimicking other poisonous creatures, they increase their chances of survival. There is another non-poisonous snake called the milk snake that borrows its coloring from the coral snake. I was just gonna say. You're not even listening, are you? No. No, I am! I am listening! I am listening! Yeah, I was gonna say, wasn't- there was something about how red, black, and white, if it's in a certain pattern, then it's- Oh, that's poisonous, but if it's in another pattern, then it's not. And I guess that's the difference between the coral and milk snake, both of which I've caught. The coral snake was gonna bite me. Good thing I didn't let it do that. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy- You told me about this one already as well. Ah, you're using the survival knife. Yeah, this thing provides me with all the bare essentials I need to survive in the field. Hey, wait, what'd you do with the knife I made you? That was a work of art. It had matches and fish hooks and thread and stuff in the grip. Decorations. Sorry, this, but that thing is useless in a fight. No way. Really? Yeah, when the grip is hollowed out like that, there's not as much space to stabilize the blade. So the joint between the blade and the grip is weaker. That makes it easier to break. I get it. You're right. With your knife, you don't have to worry about it breaking no matter how much you swing it around. So the important thing is durability. Man, I gotta write this stuff down. Next time, I'll make it so the matches and fish hooks go in the sheath instead. Uh. <laughs> I thought you invented a whole bunch of stuff. How could you not know about that? Snake, are you all right? Yeah, just barely. What the hell were all those hornets? Most likely that was the pain, one of the cobras. I figured as much. Are they tracking me? I don't know. The cobras only take orders from the boss. Not even Volgan knows what they're really up to, so I don't know anything about them either. No kidding. Yeah, they're not I'll exactly the same faction. Can about them. You just focus on moving ahead. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie swamp. Ponizovie. And snake. Be careful. That cave is pitch dark inside. Good. I did remember to tell you then. No, I just have eyes. If it's completely dark and you need a light, try using a torch. I heard there's some emergency torches stored somewhere in that cave. Torches. Got it. So where are they? Huh? Where are the torches? How should I know? Go find them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I feel like we spend more time listening to the codex than actually moving around, just because there's always new stuff to uh, consider here. Thermal goggles. Oh my god, there's so many little things around me I hadn't realized. What is that? It's a little crab! It's okay, I'll leave you alone. It's crustaceans. Okay, so it's not dark enough that I can't see anything. I can see a path here. If I feel around the walls, there's two paths. Which is the path I came from? I came from... I, I just fell down somewhere. Okay, it is kind of pitch black, actually. But if I use the thermal goggles, I can't even see the walls. Oh, they purposefully made this really confusing. What we could do is hug the wall. Hug the wall, and eventually we'll get out of there. This is how mazes work. We just turn right, turn right, turn right, keep to one direction. Oh god, okay, that's a lot of skeletons. Oh, there's a snake, there's a snake. I just want to make sure it's not a poisonous snake first. I guess it wasn't. The mushrooms. Hmm. Hello. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, there's still some warmth coming from it. I don't know what to make of that. Torches, huh? Let's keep going right. Keep going right, we'll eventually get somewhere. But I'll use the thermal goggle every now and then just to make sure I'm not running into some extreme trouble. There is a crawly hole. What is that? That's a little froggy. A part of me wants to catch everything just to fill it out like a Pokedex. But I don't- I don't have enough alive cages to keep them in, and it, they'll just rot if I take too much. So I don't think there's really... ...too much of a point. Except for the snakes, because the snakes, I might get hurt by that. I don't know when they're gonna... Yeah, I have too much- I think I should just throw away some of this stuff then. Especially the one with, like, multiple... It's sad, it's sad, everything rotted. It's been a few days since I last played too, so everything just rotted while I was away. But the flip side is that I did get back full health earlier. Like I just booted it up and I had full health. Water! Already? This might be the right way then. I'll look around. Serum. Can we walk in the water? Should we walk in the water? Not seeing any of those torches, by the way. What the heck is that? Another dead dude. How do I get new... Suppressors? I'll just come back after a while. Am I getting other bugs here, by the way? Just to make sure. No. Even my health is coming back nicely. Oh, we. I think we found it. The exit. Okay, in that case, in the. You know, just in the interest of exploring around a little bit more thoroughly, I'll have a look around the previous little bits too. I feel like the facility area definitely had so much more, but I, I got so scared because there were so many people there. Am I allowed to jump down? Will I die? Maybe time to save, just in case. Do you want to save? I always want to save. You can see in the back there, it says fox. It doesn't say foxhound. It's different. Snake, have you seen 007 from Russia with Love? I don't like those movies. Real spies are nothing like James Bond. It's pure fantasy. 
Snake, I don't think the Major's going to like you saying that. And even though it's fiction, I can't help but comparing myself to Bond. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets, the cars, the guns? Major. Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? What good is a pen gonna do me in the jungle? I'd look like a fool. Then what about a snake-shaped gun? You can make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. <laughs> okay, now you're being ridiculous. We'll make you a snake-shaped <laughs> gun that folds up and fits into an attaché case. Will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? And oh, swarming all over I me knew after it. that. Hmm, to tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky-panky with enemy femme fatales either. But that's part of Bond's appeal. You could learn a thing or two from him. I mean, what about this Eva? What are you planning to do with her? I... I don't even trust her yet. No, that's not what I mean. You you can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of spy versus spy. She's using you just as much as you're using her. You told me to trust I her! Realize that. <laughs> You've got to grab the initiative. And to do that, you have to get the upper hand in the relationship. That's what a spy is supposed to do. Get the upper hand? I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you change your code name to 00 Snake. Major. 007 is the biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. Didn't you know? The Major is a huge James Bond fan. Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? Maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You have my sympathy. It's too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks. It's an uh, occupational disease. You just don't want to be too close to the, the thing you do regularly for everyday work. Yeah, there's stuff in here, little crabbies. There's a way there. What is that? A torch made from white birch soaked with turpentine. Wave with H. Press repeatedly to swing around. Light or put out fire with a click? Okay. Wait, we should try it just to try it. Why are all the little crabbies here? Do they like this spot? Mmm, I, I gotta say I'm not really a big fan of this whole like um this backpack system, because I feel like, yeah, like I'm just spending if it's just like the old style where stuff automatically was in my equipable inventory, it feels like that just would be way easier, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm gonna take away the AP sensor for now. I feel like I don't really... Oh, the torch is not on this side, it's on the other side. Okay. I should put the fake death pill in here too. Oh, I can put the food... I can hold the food as well. Oh, like because I can like throw it away at them or something? Torch. Hi, gosh. Like that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Fire looks a little bit distracting. I still find the thermal goggles nice to see at, at a quick glance where there's stuff though. Bad stuff. Oh, we're back in the beginning area. Okay, cool. I'll check out- yeah, there was another place over here. Oh, we can swim! I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, I think the swimming probably leads back to that one little spot. That's. We can try it, and just put away the... Oh, but what if there's like crocodiles and stuff in the... I see things down there. Oh god, I don't know the controls. I don't know the controls for swimming. Hold up, hold up, snake. What, what are you- what are you trying to do? Just- just swim forward. Swim forward. It's just bullets! Okay, maybe get back up. Uh, I vaguely... 
vaguely get how that works. But if I were trying to escape somebody, maybe it wouldn't do so hot there. I'm not- I'm pressing like one button and it's still spazzing out like this, it's not me. <laughs> I'm pressing the knock people out button, the, the chokehold button. Ration! Oh, that's really helpful because those... Yeah, because rations are what we can keep, so that's really good actually. A little turtle! No, that's a frog. Hmm, takes a bit of stamina though, I imagine. Okay, oh cool. Hmm, I wonder if there was another way- no, that's the- yeah, this might be it then. Okay. Hey, we got a ration, not bad. Probably, I'll just meet you back at the exit then, unless if I find something else interesting. Oh no, there was a different path here. Yeah, that didn't really close off. Let me check out what this is. Oh! There's stuff here. Where does this go? I'm gonna go this way first because that way I gotta climb down. If I climb down, I don't know if I can go up again. Hello, Adams. Adams of the world. Little rats don't bite, do they? Where am I? Where the heck am I? Okay. That's good. Additional medicine and all. No, yeah, this... There were more places here than I imagined. So I'm guessing this just leads back to somewhere. This is an exit. This goes to the exit. I gotta go backwards though. Just need to confirm quickly. No, this is another random little tunnel. Random? Maybe not even so. Oh, the way to get up is so annoying. <laughs> you gotta be like, semi-crawling and then all that. Oh, what the heck? Hey, Kerotan! There's another Kerotan. You're too far for me to do that. Some collectible thing, I guess. NVG night vision goggles electrically electronically amplifies weak dim light for visualization, allows one to see in the dark. This is what I'm looking for, not really the thermal goggles. If I jump down here, well, where will I end up? Oh, this might be the- oh, this is exactly where I was before, right? The swimming part. I think. I figured out how to swim without it freaking out, the camera freaking out. Just, I gotta not move the mouse at all. Okay, then I'll go back to the one spot where I had to drop down and there was some stuff there. Maybe I could've just walked- oh. Oh, I could've just- probably could've just climbed up right here, huh? <laughs> AK-47 Soviet assault rifle. Good find, I think. Something we should... Oh, batteries. Dang, there were so many things that we could have missed out on here. Mm, I really want to go back and check out the previous spots too, but... Whenever there's people around, it just... The chances of everything going to hell end up astronomically high and I don't know what to do anymore. Do I need a magazine? Not really. I don't think I need this many. I'll just have like one type of grenade maybe. Two? Grenade and stun grenade. And then if I need something else, I'll just switch back out. Sure. AK? Uh, would you like a... We can throw a Taiwanese Cobra. Oh, there was a Taiwanese Cobra here. Huh. I think we can ask about all these things. All the weapons and the stuff that we capture if we talk to the right person. But, you know, I don't need to find out about every little thing. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just be standing here listening to Kodak calls the entire time. Where are we? 
This is the new spot again, isn't it? Or, uh... This is the new spot. Get that. I don't have very much oxygen. You see, I've lost a little bit of health from the oxygen. The lack of oxygen, actually. But it's okay, it'll... Hopefully keep going back up again. Are we done done? Yeah, get that 8k. Okay, this is the beginning. Now we can leave. That's my stomach! My stomach just growled. Yeah, you're right. We did a lot of looking around here, didn't we? Oh, there are bats to- Ow! Did a bat just hit me on the head? You kidding me? They're mad. They're probably mad about the torch. Kind of want to catch a bat. More importantly, though, let's let's have. Uh, maybe we should ask about this stuff before eating it. You know, Taiwanese cobra. Fortune favors the bold. Not too bad. Good. What about Golova? Oh, this is a little bit. Mmm. There's a bug on it. I don't know about that anymore. <laughs> it's like 50-50. If it's one bug. If there's two bugs on it, I think it's just gone. Why don't I just capture a little rat right here and eat it? It'll probably be better. I think I can catch a freaking bat. Oh my god. That's messed up. I see you've caught a coral snake. I mean, a milk snake. The milk snake closely resembles the coral snake, but it's actually not venomous. Even so, you'll still take damage if it bites you, so don't get too close. Hmm. So is there a way to tell the difference between a milk snake and a coral snake? It's pretty difficult. They really do look almost exactly alike. I guess if I had to pick something, I'd say it's that the milk snake is much less aggressive. Okay. Ah, I just thought of a better way. You're going to love this. What? Eat it. <laughs> yeah, the guide says milk snakes don't taste very good. Is that right? But if I've already caught and eaten it, what does it matter which kind of snake it was? It doesn't, does it? Shoot, I thought I had a good idea. No. I wanted to know about the bat. I see you've caught a vampire bat. The vampire bat bites its victims and sucks their blood. Got it. Speaking of bats... Just save it. Huh? I know you're gonna talk about vampire movies, Attack of the Vampire Donuts, or Dracula vs. the Space Hippos, or something like that. Actually, I was going to say that bats are known to use supersonic waves to sense their surroundings. Oh. Bats use supersonic waves to sense their surroundings. But I heard so that the might first be time. Able to keep them away <laughs> by blasting them with a special kind of sound wave. Oh. Alternatively, you could try equipping a torch and waving it around with the CQC button. As for taste, I suppose there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Hmm. They probably taste like Snake, chicken. Do you hate vampire movies? What? Just now, you sounded like you really hated them. I did. Yeah. Oh. Well. No one really likes them, do they? Some people do. Like you. Yeah. They're fascinating, you know? Like the movie Dracula. Don't say it. Why not? Copyright reasons. Just don't. Are you afraid? What? You're afraid of vampires, aren't you? Don't be ridiculous. But... Listen. There are no such things as vampires. They're just a stupid made-up legend. And if they do seem real sometimes... Well, sure. You think I'd be afraid of something like that? No. Exactly. Right. I'm not afraid of vampires. Uh-huh. It's just that whenever somebody starts talking about vampires, I end up dreaming about them that night, and I don't need that right now. That's all. Okay. Vampires aren't real anyway. Everyone knows only bisexuals are real. I feel like if this game was made a little bit later, I don't know, and maybe maybe in like a more Western-centric circle, the vampire 
vampire movie conversation would center around Twilight. I don't think Twilight was out yet in 20, 2004. A little bit later. Edible in a pinch, not regularly. Am I gonna eat it right now? Yes. Disgusting. Barely noticeable stamina recovery. Uh, just eat it, whatever. Yes, but it, it works. It works, so we're not gonna complain, alright? I didn't try waving around the torch. Let me try that out. I see. Or we can use the sonar as well. That's cool. Now we can finally leave. Wow, unexpectedly, this cave had a lot to offer. We're not done yet! I thought we were done! <laughs> okay. Alright.